All right, guys, this is just totally random, but I am literally sitting here wearing the same shirt, same shave, doing this in the same day, recording these videos for you all and teaching you guys. And my business partner walks in with this check right here. Let's see if I can get the zoom to work. There it goes. $16,860 to my company, House Sold Easy LLC from a wholesale deal. We literally did a wholesale deal and, and got paid on it while I'm sitting here recording this video for you all today. And wholesaling is incredibly simple. I just wanna say that real quick. It is incredibly simple, all right? It's not necessarily easy. It requires a lot of work. So the three money-making activities, which are number one, marketing. Number two, making offers and number three is follow-ups so marketing making offers and following up are three very very important activities they are the three pillars of wholesaling and these three things make up a three-legged bar stool so now imagine you have a three-legged bar stool three legs like this you pull one of those legs out of that bar stool what's going to happen to that stool do you think it's going to remain standing probably not if there was four legs it may but with three it's going down baby it's going down well that bar stool is your real estate investing business your wholesaling business your marketing business those are the same three things in, in theory right so your wholesaling business is like this bar stool so to keep this bar stool up you need to be doing these three activities every single day or at least three or four days a week at a minimum but you need to be marketing you need to be doing outreach to sellers or doing some sort of paid marketing that will get the sellers to reach out to you remember all marketing leads to a phone call okay so number one you need to be marketing you need to be doing outreach you need to be prospecting every single day number two you need to be making offers because every time you talk to a seller you have an opportunity to help that seller solve some problem and you do so by making an offer to them so if you are doing the first money-making activity or the first pillar which is marketing and you are not making offers you are throwing away time and money all those resources all those efforts all those costs and you're not making an offer you're throwing those away so you must make offers on property you must it is incredibly important again if you're not you're just gonna be throwing away all that energy and effort and cost that you that you spent the guys money making activity number three as well as the third pillar of wholesaling is following up and the reason that following up is so important is because I've done about a thousand transactions about 700 wholesale the average deal that we do takes us four to six months that's the because four to six months now that's from the time that we connect with that seller that homeowner they might not even be wanting to sell when we connect with them but we call them we verify and then we decide hey do they have any problems that we could help them with and if we do we offer to buy the property from them so we did the marketing we make the offer I'm making the offer very straightforward and then number three we're gonna follow up with that seller so it takes four to six months of follow-up typically calling them emailing texting maybe even showing up at their house whatever it takes to let them know that we are here to help them and we can buy this property that they own and if they're willing to give us a discount we're willing to give them hopefully you know the answer already i've said it about 30 times convenience for that property we're gonna make their life really easy we're gonna close fast we're gonna pay cash and we're gonna buy that property as is okay so the convenience is going to be traded for the discount and that's how we're going to get the deal so in order to get a deal we got to do marketing that's the money making activity or one of them we got to be making offers to every single lead that we're marketing to and that offer process could be a verbal offer it could be a written offer i usually have 100 or 200 contracts in my trunk at any given time just print out a huge stack and throw them in there so i always have them on. You can email offers. You can use platforms like DocuSign or Right Signature or Sign Now to send these offers with eSign. And in fact, my favorite CRM, Ari Simply, will even let you do it with the CRM. We can drop some links below this video to those tools. But you must make offers. And then last but not least, you gotta follow up. If you are not following up with your offers or the marketing that you're doing or the people that reach out to you from the paid marketing, again, you're just throwing money in the fire you're throwing time and energy into the fire you must follow up now when it comes to follow-up there's a good rule of thumb we typically are going to be following up with 
with with these one of these three three days three weeks or three months if it's not one of those then it's either call me back tomorrow at 3 p.m like dedicated time that a seller tells you that's a great time to call you call them back because they told you to or they may say hey call me in six months call me in nine months call me in a year call me in two whatever they say do that if they don't tell you when to follow up or to call you back then you should presume to call them back within one of those three so three days three weeks three months now which one would you choose well that's going to depend how your conversation with that owner went do they have any reason to sell did they mention that they wanted an offer did they say that they had interest in selling or did they say no they don't want to talk to you about the property right now leave them alone well in that case you probably shouldn't call them back because they told you not to so just listen to them make a friend but guys you must focus on these three money-making activities or the three pillars, they're the same thing. And they're like a bar stool. So don't let that stool fall down because that stool is in fact a representation of your business. In order for your business to actually do deals and to grow and to do more and to make money and create profit is to keep that stool standing. And in order to do that, you have to focus on those three legs, marketing, making offers, and following up. These are the activities that real estate investors and wholesalers that are having success are doing. They're spending an hour on on each of these every day. And some people are even spending four hours or five hours or six hours. I typically only work about three, maybe four days a week. Depends if I want to travel that week or not. But when I do, I typically work anywhere from three to six hours. And that's what I focus on. Turn my email off, turn off my cell phone, I turn off my television and I go and I figure out how I can get on the phone with property owners or what I can do to market my business to them so they can call me and get on the phone with me or my team of course and then every single opportunity that I have from those efforts the marketing effort I use and I make offers to sellers I start with really low offers because if they say yes then now I have a really great deal but if they say no well then I'm willing to see okay well what's your counter I'm looking to see how they react to the offer that I make and if that offer reaction is oh you're crazy I'll never sell for that low then move on go find some more marketing to do that's the business it's a marketing business you got to focus your time and effort on these money making activities and I promise you, you will have success if you are consistent and persistent, okay? Go into this knowing that you're gonna commit six months or more, but if you're putting in three hours a day, there's really no reason that you shouldn't get a deal within 90 days, but you must commit and you must be persistent with those offer makings and persistent with those follow-ups and you must be consistent with the marketing and that one thing that you picked and maybe you're doing two or even three, and that's great, but you gotta do it every day and you gotta be consistent and focus on these three money-making activities, guys. All right, so one more time. It's marketing, it's offer making, and it is following up. These are the activities that are gonna get you deals and these are the activities that are gonna get you paid. House so easy, we close fast and any time that works for you. Your house don't need it, we'll throw cash, it hits so fast, don't know what to do.